Okay, so guys, today we're doing a review on this lighter. I'm joking, that'd be pretty cool. We've got two awesome monitors here from LG's to which I'm gonna be using in my actual setup at home. My new gaming rig that I'm gonna be building, these two monitors are gonna be either side of a gaming monitor. These are awesome monitors and I'm super excited to check them out with you guys today. <laughs> the bat, this is the LG Ultrafine Display 32UL950. So it's a 31.5 inch display right here. We've got support for HDR, we've got UHD 4K, it's a nano IPS panel and I'll explain more to you guys about that later on and we've also got Thunderbolt 3 support here too. So a hefty amount of really high-end things are packed into this box. So right off the bat, these things are obviously 4K monitors. So you've got that super resolution of 3840 by 2160. So I'm super, super excited to have a monitor that's around 31 inches with that sort of resolution. It should look really, really sharp. First off here though, accessory pack. The next thing is that this monitor is actually HDR. So as you guys can see here, we get an assurance report for the monitor as soon as you open the box, which is awesome. Now essentially, I put a lot of thought into this when I was planning my setup in the new house. As you guys can imagine, it's taken me so long to do it and I've been so unsure about what I wanted. Obviously the monitors were a big deal, so I do quite a lot of things with my setup or my computer. One of them, mainly actually, is content creation. Second to that, gaming and such. So it's kind of difficult to get a monitor that can do both of those things well. So I've opted for two of these and then I'm gonna have one gaming monitor primarily in the middle and then like I've said, two of these off to the sides. So here we have our stand. That is a full metal design with the LG logo up there. Yeah, looks nice. I'll be base mounting mine though. This is an HDR 600 monitor. Alex, what does that mean? Explain to me briefly. Okay, well, HDR 600 is kind of in the middle. In the plainest terms, you have HDR 400, 600, and 1000, and that sort of refers to the brightness in nits that the screen is giving off. This is giving off HDR 600, so it's better than HDR 400, but not as good as HDR 1000. Make sense? Good. For all of you lot wondering as well, HDR 600 is plenty for a monitor of this sort of size. Now, I'm gonna have to stand up while I take this out of the box. This is our display. So here we go, you guys can see it first. So this is a nano IPS display. And again, for those of you that don't really know what that means, let me explain. So with a nano IPS panel, which this is, you get a few benefits, and those are this. One of them is great viewing angle. The panel can also have a great response time, which actually isn't really the best on this monitor, coming in around five milliseconds, but IPS panels are usually known for having better response times. They also boast incredible color, which is great for obviously content creation. And this is all backed up by the fact that LG are the actual like original manufacturers for nano IPS panels, and this is an LG monitor, so it's just gonna be good. DCI3P is just essentially a cinema color standard. So again, for you content creation guys out there, absolutely perfect. It's what you need. And I also absolutely love the mechanism of putting this monitor together. I mean, I've essentially put the whole thing together in less than 30 seconds. I mean, it's, it's done. There we go, okay, so the box can now go over there. So I'm gonna plug this into the back of the monitor. There is two USB-C or Thunderbolt ports on the back of here, to which one of them can supply 60 watts of power, like I said, so I'll be plugging into that one. I've also got here a display port, HDMI, two USB-3 ports, and then a headphone jack. Hey, there she goes, look at that, that's awesome. So one thing, first off, looking at this monitor that I absolutely love is the screen almost it's almost hanging off the monitor. Now you guys will only be able to see this with a slight bit of B-roll, but it looks really, really futuristic and modern how the glass is a couple of mil in front of the body of the screen. It really makes this screen immersive and stand out, which is wicked. Bitches bitching about other bitches. <laughs> That's a good 4K image, that one. <laughs> Okay, so let's check out some images. I've got some images here, some personal ones that I've taken on my Sony cameras, so we can have a look at these and see what the crack is quality-wise. That is, that is absolutely phenomenal. Look, there's me in the middle, just chilling. Oh, I'm loving it. That is mental quality, I can't believe it. 
Wow. Gonna quickly load up here a 4K YouTube video, guys, just to check what this is like. And then also test out the sound quality if this video has a little bit of sound. It's using my MacBook speakers, brilliant. I think, I think I made the right choice of monitor. I'm actually super stoked about this. This is so, 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 so cool, man. This is lovely. Also, check this out. You can actually tilt the monitor. So you see, even, even browsing something like Amazon, because all sites now are getting optimized for like mobile screens, this works really well. Like I'm browsing Amazon right here and everything is fitting on the screen, but you just get more of a vertical view as to what's going on. I mean, everything is turning vertical now. Surely, even if I go to YouTube, yeah, look, it's automatically optimized for this screen, which is super, super cool. Then we get the video and all the comments. Like, this is sick. So guys, this has been my first look at this brand new, awesome LG monitor that came out this year at CES. And I actually checked it out and I was like, I need to have this monitor for my productivity monitor. And I ended up picking up two of them, which I'm super, super stoked about. Implementing both of these either side of some sort of crazy awesome gaming monitor in my actual gaming setup in the new place. But for now guys, we've just been checking this out. My name's been Alex and we'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Guys, if you want to check out some other reviews, you can do right there, there's two videos. And if you're not subscribed to Techflow and you enjoyed what you saw here today, you can click that button right there, because uh, we'd really appreciate it.